Hi, I'm Christy Kolos and I work with the Edwards Aquifer Habitat Conservation Plan and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the San Marcos Salamander. Its scientific name is Eurycea nana and it actually has been uh, listed as threatened by the federal government since 1980 and that's due to several factors, uh, loss in some of its habitat, potentially spring flow, and changes in the habitat from urban influences to the system. Uh, the San Marcos salamander is part of the lungless salamander family. And what does that mean? Well, it actually spends its entire life within the aquatic environment. And instead of developing lungs in its later life, it actually retains its external gills that it has when it's young. And so that's one of its unique characteristics. Um, some other characteristics of the San Marcos salamander is it's relatively small in size, one to two inches in length. It's dark brown in color, but also has spots along its head and its lateral line or lateral side. And a cool fact about the San Marcos salamander is it can actually detect uh, chemical cues or pheromones in the water to detect its predator within the aquatic environment. So if a bass comes along, it can detect it and it knows to hide. Um, the San Marcos salamander is only found here in Spring Lake and then within the upper portions of the San Marcos River. Uh, its habitat is within clear flowing areas and it's associated with larger substrates, so rocks, and it also can be found in vegetation. It's, it's uh, known to be in areas outside of silt, so it doesn't like uh, areas where there's a lot of silt. Um, within these habitats, they find their, their food, and that is aquatic insects or uh, small crustaceans such as amphipods. The uh, Edwards Aquifer Habitat Conservation Plan uh, is set in place to protect the San Marcos salamander and other threatened species.